All right, coating a screen with emulsion. So to coat the screens, you're gonna be usually doing this in a dark room. So our dark room is here. You can see where we store all our screens, where our exposure unit is there, a screen drying rack here. This is where the, the screens, once they've been coated, are gonna dry until they're ready to be exposed. Uh, the racks in general for all the storage of the screens and then our washout booth here. On the side, we have the scoop coaters and a um, scraper there down at the bottom that you can see and then we're gonna need both of those things to coat our screen. And then we have our little coating station here where the screen sits kind of at an angle. Uh, you should know that uh, you can see that the door got closed here. The, the emulsion is light sensitive, so we wanna make sure we eliminate the lights other than the safe lights that we have on above that have filters on them to prevent some of the UV from, from uh, hitting the emulsion before we're ready to have it exposed to actual UV light. So screen sits in here at an angle. I've got my scoop coater. I'm using a small one where I'm gonna have to double coat here. And a scraper, it's a Bondo scraper, is to some gloves. We are using a chemical and then the emulsion itself, which is in this bucket. Uh, the, the lid should always be on there sealed up really well um, so that we don't have air hitting the emulsion and, and drying it out from the start. So first off, got my gloves on. I'm gonna take the lid off of the emulsion and then I'm gonna pour the emulsion into the scoop cutter and I'm gonna kind of move that so that we have a nice even a trough full of this stuff and you don't fill this all the way up especially if you're only coating one screen if you're doing a lot of screens you'd put more emulsion in obviously and if you do just one screen you barely need any I'm gonna use my scraper here to clean off the edge so I'm not dripping all over the, the ground here and I can just scrape that back into the the bucket itself I'm gonna be using that scraper later so it's just there to the side so you can see about how much emulsion is there if you poured it all on one end you just need to make sure you rock that back and forth until it's nice and even. So now I'm gonna move on to coating the screen. So you're gonna start by pressing up the edge of the scoop coater to the screen mesh. I don't wanna be on the frame of the screen at all, the metal frame there. Um, so I can start just inside of that. If I don't go all the way to the edge, it's fine. I'm gonna, I can use tape or something else to, um, to block out those areas that don't get coated. So I lean this up against the mesh and I wanna wait until I see that the emulsion has made contact all the way across the screen, otherwise I'm gonna get an uneven coating. With really good pressure, I'm gonna hold that tight and I'm gonna slide it up close to the, the start of the next part of the frame. So you see I stopped just short of the frame. I'm gonna tilt down the screen so that the emulsion slowly makes its way back into the the tray and then I'm going to scoop it off and this is to stop uh, running or dripping of the emulsion in too thick of ways down the down the frame of the screen or in front of the screen we want a really thin even coating here so I'm doing the same thing on the other side and I'm overlapping that line just a little bit so I'm going to get a slightly double coat right down the middle of the screen. See, it takes just a little bit of patience. Stopping short again, rocking back. Remember, we don't want it to drip down the front. If you just pull this up immediately, it's just gonna pour down the front of the screen. I'm gonna slowly rock that off and you can see I have a pretty clean coating here. So now what I wanna do is uh, with the scraper, hit those edges where maybe things were a little bit thick. If I have those deposits, I can just scrape them back in the bucket. You can see I'm not using a ton of pressure. I'm just kind of scraping off any sort of excess bits that are chunky that are going to take a while to dry or that were too thick somewhere on the screen. If you coated the screen way too thick, you might have to clean out the emulsion um, before it's dry. It's really easy to rinse out and wait for the screen to dry and recoat. Um, while it is drying, the screen should go into our drying cabinet or somewhere where it can dry in the dark. Um, this cabinet has a fan that kind of circulates air through it so it helps the screens dry in like 15 minutes or so. 
So you don't want to put the, the flat side down. You obviously want to rest this on the frame, not on the emulsion that you just coated. Otherwise, it's just going to glue itself once it dries to, to a surface. Close that up and then it's cleanup time. So the emulsion from the tray can, or from the scoop coater can go right back into the bucket as long as you didn't contaminate it with something weird like water or anything like that. Um, so I'm scooping out as much as I can because I don't want to put this stuff down the, the sink or um, put as little down the sink as, as possible. The emulsion's not super cheap, so um, save as much of it as you can. So this scraper comes in really handy for, for cleaning most of that up and I'm, I'm going to scrape this out really, really, really well. Once that's done, I want to make sure that if there was any on the, on the rim of the lid that's going to prevent this um, from, from closing up really well, I want to wipe that down with a paper towel and some water. Don't get water in the bucket and um, make sure the the lid is all on there nice and tight and if you dripped anything on the on the ground you want to clean this up before it it dries once it's dry it's it's really a pain to get up so you want to get all this stuff while it's still wet so just some soapy water some water will, will clean that up well and i'm going to take the uh, scoop coater and the scraper to the sink and i just want to clean that out really well so it's just should just take water as long as you didn't let this dry uh, then it, it comes out really easy so i'm just gonna do this in the washout booth with the spray nozzle and i'm using some warm water to clean this out i still have my gloves on if anything's being a little bit stubborn you can use uh, one of the scrub brushes or if you have like a little scour pad you can clean that out so i'm using the scrub brush here making sure that all the edges are clean making sure there's no fresh emulsion left on this scoop coater like i said once this stuff dries it's really a pain to put it back so or get it back to normal so dry this off put it back where you got it and that's it 